Well, greetings everybody. Welcome to lesson number seven, where we are going to make suet. Now, if you have a bird feeder, I'm sure you have been entertained this winter. Uh, we have, it's really a family activity for us, watching birds. And we love to feed them, and it's so interesting, all of the different varieties of seeds that different uh, breeds of birds respond to. But suet is something that kind of runs the gamut. Okay, there are from woodpeckers to finches, juncos, starlings, cardinals, thrushes, uh, nuthatches, all of these birds love suet. So we're going to make our own because we have been cooking up the bacon. And although technically suet is beef fat or mutton fat, especially from around the loins or the kidneys of the animal, we've got some pork grease in here that we're also going to use, combined with some beef fat. Now this is, uh, we made a bone broth a few days ago, and this was fat that had risen to the top that we collected. So we're going to let that melt down. And it's, you know, suet is like, is like a snowflake. No two suets are alike. And so whatever it is that you have handy, you can pop in there and the birds are going to love it. Now we like to use all organic, non-genetically modified ingredients because, you know, birds are pollinators. They eat and then they poo-poo wherever they fly. And so, you know, we want them to be dropping down things that we wouldn't mind. Uh, going to seed or uh, hanging out in our yard. We're going to put some organic oats in here. Would you like to come over and take a look, take a close look at what we're doing? Uh, got these organic oats. Also, we grew sunflowers in our garden, so we're going to use some of our own sunflower seed. And this is especially something that I would love for these little guys uh, to drop because Sunflowers, of course, are good for all sorts of things. Now, they love unsalted nuts. Of course, it's winter time. Those little guys are burning off a lot of calories. So suet is just basically, you know, it's just fat, and then we pack a lot of fat things into it. and makes those birds so happy. So we're going to add some... They're actually roasted, though. We have roasted these pecans, but you can certainly use raw. Raisins, I'm going to give a little bit of sweet to it. And you know, it's interesting, su this is called suet, the mixture, but technically suet is a 14th century word of Anglo-French origin that is derived from the Latin word sebum, which meant tallow or grease, or, or grease or fat, excuse me. Um, no, no, tallow. Sebum meant tallow or grease. And, you know, what's interesting is that, actually, I want to mention this here. This is corn from our garden. We grew this corn. And this was, uh, these were some ears that we did not harden off properly. Uh, so we're going to put these to good use. We're, of course, going to be using these, uh, actually, this is popcorn, which we'll be talking about in a later lesson as we make some delish Pennsylvania uh, popcorn. But this right here is going to go into our suet. So anyhow, uh, this mixture is, of course, called suet. But technically, suet is specifically referring to that tallow or grease. What's interesting is that back in the day, the common folk would really use uh, rendered suet, which would become tallow, for candles. Now. They did not smell that nice, and they made a lot of smoke. But, hey, they provided light, and, of course, light was an extremely precious commodity, especially in the winter time. So I like to think that what we're beginning to uh, smell here would have been an odor, an aroma familiar to noses uh, hundreds of years ago, and that's, that's an exciting thought. Um, last but not least we're going to add some niger seed. And this is actually uh, specifically for finches. And we love our, love our birds, love our child loves to watch the birds and watch the, uh, the goings on outside of the windows. You really get a sense of uh, survival of the fittest. And of course, when those greedy blue jays come along, 
what it means to be a smaller but faster, and certainly what it means to have a pretty song. So we're going to let that do its thing here for just a moment, and then we will, if you haven't already seen this, we're going to put this into our muffin tin lined with, this is a wonderful company, it's called, it's, the company is called If You Care, um, unbleached, totally chlorine free baking cups. They make a number of actually products that we use. Love the parchment baking paper. They make an aluminum foil that's 100% recycled. Fantastic products. So that's called If You Care. Check them out if you can at your local health food store. But we have a bird feeder that has a suet, um, has suet holders onto it. If we didn't have that, what you can do, because goodness knows, we have tons of these, and I feel terrible when I want to buy produce, and it's wrapped up in this stuff. It's like, what am I going to do with this? Well, suet. Suet holder. That's one thing you can do with it. Besides, of course, you know, um, weird and freaky masks that'll upset your children. But these are great for, for holding suet. The other thing you can do is take a piece of twine or some sort of filament, tooth floss, fishing line, what have you, and uh, you can tie a knot and as you pour it in, that line will hang and then you can just hang that suet directly also. But today, as I said, since we have our own uh, suet holders, we'll just be putting this directly in. Mm. Really get a sense of the fat that is in this recipe as it's filling our kitchen with such a lovely, lovely smell. Okay. All right. So we've got made 12 perfectly. We've got that all packed in. We're going to let that harden overnight, probably put it outside so it'll get all nice and ready for the feeder and that's going to hopefully attract lots of sonorous friends uh, and you're included in that bunch thank you very much for tuning in to this lesson uh, we in the backyard revolution family say thank you and send all of our warmth your way so we'll see you next time my name is adrian young ramsey thank you <laughs>